everybody welcome this is Liam Chase today I want to show you guys how to actually use guys finance which is the money market or crypto bank as I like to call it on the phantom network uh, so there are a couple assumptions here number one you already have a MetaMask installed and number two that you have some funds in your MetaMask whether that's more than likely Ethereum or maybe phantom in this case since we're going to be using the phantom network um, but assuming you have those two things, uh, there's a couple of step, steps here. So the first things first, we're going to need to go ahead and get MetaMask set up uh, with the Phantom Network. And I'm going to go ahead and include this document in the link, uh, the uh, description below so that you can follow along here. Uh, but essentially, you just need to come over here to MetaMask, get it opened up, and you want to click here. And then you want to come down and do a custom RPC, which, let's see here, you're going to want to, now, I know this is going to be a little tricky, but actually you need to type this in, phantom, because otherwise you will, if you try to copy and paste it, you're going to, going to get thrown off. Here, I'll show you in a second. rpc.ftm.tools slash, and let's see, I come over here, oh, look at that, disappeared. So make sure that you, you type that out individually. And once you get that set up, you'll be able to come over here to Phantom. So let me get over to this Phantom wallet. Give you just a second here. Oops. All right, cool. We're on Phantom now. You can see I've got a couple of bucks of Phantom. All right, so you've got your Phantom wallet set up. Uh, now we need to get some funds over. So you're going to actually have to do what's called a bridge where you move some funds from Ethereum to Phantom. Now, the bridge that I like to use personally is on Spooky Swap. I recently used this myself. It was pretty quick and easy. Uh, and as you can see, and I'll include the link to this down below as well, but basically it's pretty simple and straightforward. You're going to be moving funds from Ethereum to Phantom. And all you have to do is select the token. Now, likely... Uh, if you're trying to use Phantom, you either are going to be transferring over the Phantom asset or ETH. Now, a couple of notes. If you are transferring Phantom, make sure that you have Ethereum in your wallet in order, to, in order to pay for the Ethereum gas fees. And here's the other note. If you're trying to move Ethereum, make sure you have it wrapped. Now, you can actually wrap uh, the Ethereum pretty quickly on app.uniswap.org. It would take a couple of, you know, maybe 10, 20 bucks, depending on what the gas fees are at the time that you're doing this. Um, so once you have that either wrapped or you have enough ETH in your wallet to pay to bridge over the Phantom, you just want to come right over here to spookyswap.finance slash bridge. Um, and let's see here. So you just select your token. Like I said, I'd recommend either just FTM, the asset itself, or the wrapped Ethereum. And you really just follow the queue here. Uh, this shouldn't take you too long. I think when I did it, it took about 10 to 20 minutes, maybe max. Now, if you're sending over Phantom, you're gonna be good to go. Um, but if you are sending over wrapped ETH like I did, you're gonna need some Phantom in your wallet. And you're not gonna wanna pay a whole another transaction fee, just this Ethereum transaction fee, just to get fa enough Phantom over to pay for gas. So one of the quickest ways to do so is just to come over to the Spooky Swap Discord and go to the faucet. I'll include this link down below as well. Um, but you just come over here and you type uh, exclamation point deposit. It'll load you up. I've already used mine for the month. Or actually you type faucet oh, I can't type but anyways you type exclamation point faucet it'll give you some and then you actually have to come here and message um, the bot itself so just you have to DM the bot right here and uh, you hit with here I'll show you my conversation you have to DM the bot you come right here you hit with uh, draw and then you provide your MetaMask address that you find in MetaMask. And the great thing about this is that your Phantom Network address is gonna be the same as your Ethereum address. So just copy right there, and then you type withdraw, paste, boom. And then that'll send you, I got sent 0.18 Phantom, 
And for me, because I was using Geist, I actually needed a little bit more. So what I, my, what I ended up doing was uh, coming back to the spooky swap, and then I went ahead and swapped a little bit of my Ethereum for some Phantom. And as you can see, hence the reason I have 15 Phantom in my wallet. Um, I did about 0 0.01 ETH. You could probably do 0 0.05 ETH or, well, oops, that's the last, 0 0.005 ETH. Well, probably good. And that's what's great about Phantom is these transactions are no more than one to two dollars. I think most of them are in the 25 to 75 cent range. So obviously compared to Ethereum, very cheap and affordable. The only thing you'll have to pay for is, you know, the bridge fee to Phantom and possibly the uh, fee to wrap, uni uh, to wrap ETH on Uniswap. Now, if you've never done anything on Uniswap or any, or interacted with any of these contracts, keep in mind you will have to do an approval, which may take another few bucks on Uniswap. But anyways, so once you've gone through the bridge, you've gotten your Phantom over successfully, or if you bridge your ETH over, um, you need to get some extra Phantom to, so that you can use guys. But once you've got that successfully completed, you want to come over to geist.finance.market. So this is basically the home page, and you want to come to deposit. And then obviously first you connect your wallet. Let's see. I think I may have brought this up before I connected to the Phantom Network, so just a second here. All right. Let's try again. All right. Boom. Bang. We are connected. All right, so you want to go to deposit. In fact, I will do a live demo for you here. I'll go ahead and deposit 10 Phantom. Deposit. Actually, I, this is a hard wallet. I don't have my hard wallet connected right now. But just to give you a little quick demo. Um, so that'll cost 0.27 Phantom, which a Phantom is $2. So a quarter, this is like 25 to 50 cents. I'm not good at math, clearly. Um, so, yep, you just go ahead and deposit. Now, keep in mind, if the first time you're interacting with this, you're going to have to approve that. will probably another, you know, 50 to $2, somewhere in that range. Uh, but once you've got that in there, uh, you can come over to my dashboard, and you will see that deposited. Now, I started with one Ethereum. Like I said earlier, I used 0 0.01 to get some Phantom, uh, which this is a great network to use if you have you know a thousand to three thousand dollars maybe even 500 to 750 but that's kind of cutting it close with the gas fees you'll have to pay from ethereum um, but once you have got your collateral deposited and this is the the purpose of geist and even similar apps like ave which geist is a fork of ave the point of these markets these deposit markets, these money markets, these crypto banks, is ultimately not to earn the yield, um, but to access the equity of your assets. Well, just depends on the strategy that you're using. Uh, if you are depositing Phantom, you're going to get some great deposits rates. And if you're depositing Ethereum, you're going to get some decent deposit rates. But ultimately, what I personally use this for is to access the reason I used Ethereum or moved over Ethereum is because I already owned an Ethereum and I didn't want to spin swap out of my Ethereum to buy Phantom or bridge over, you know, something else to Phantom to start using. So I opted to just use an Ethereum that I already owned. Um, and as you can see here, so I put that up and I decided to borrow some USDC. So once you have your collateral up, you just want to come over here and borrow. Now, I would always say just borrow stable coins. Uh, that's probably on the safer route unless you have a strategy that you want to deploy uh, with any of these other collateral assets or assets that you can borrow. Otherwise, if you're brand new to this, I would just stick to stable coins and uh, you just come in here, you know, pick how much I would keep your health factor to at least two around two or above. Um, I took out a w loan for about two. It's come down a little bit, so it's fine, but uh, I would keep it around two. Uh, but, you know, it's always at your discretion what you want to do. Just keep in mind if this falls below one, you are at risk of losing your collateral. 
and being margin called, which means that uh, somebody would have to pay off your debt for you and they would get a certain percentage of your assets. So that's how you use Geist and Phantom is a great place to just get started. Um, I'll give you guys one more resource here. DeFi Llama is a great resource to start exploring some of the applications that you can be using within an ecosystem. Obviously, in this case, we're using Phantom. So I'm not going to you know, tell you guys exactly what to do as far as you know, with, the asset, with the money that you borrow. But I will tell you that if you come over to something like DeFi Llama and you look at the chains, you come to Phantom, you will see a list of all the applications that are available to use. So obviously Geist is one of the larger assets. It's got $3 billion in it. Spooky Swap, which is another one that we're using. It's got 500 million in it. And as you can notice, I've pretty much shown you how to use two, actually uh, two of the top protocols. Whenever you're going into an ecosystem, you know, like this, you probably want to stay within the top 10 to 15 just to be on the safer side. Now, keep in mind, there all is risk to everything, smart contract risk. Um, but so, you know, don't put your entire life savings in here, but, you know, put a good amount that you feel comfortable working with. You know, like I said, probably a thousand to three thousand dollars, half, you know, anywhere from half an ETH to a whole ETH would probably be a decent place to start. And there are some great places where you can farm and get some great rewards. But uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you did, definitely drop a like button. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. See ya.